Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to study about definition, classification and mechanism of action of adrenergic antagonist. First of all, let us see the definition of sympatholytics or adrenergic antagonist. We can call them anti-adrenergic drugs. So what are adrenergic antagonist? The agents which antagonize the action of sympathomimetic agents or sympathetic stimulations are called sympatholytic agents. Sympatholytics means sympatho means sympathetic nervous system and lytics means lysis or breakdown. So the agents which antagonize the action of sympathomimetic agents or sympathetic stimulations are called sympatholytic agents or adrenergic antagonist. Or these drugs may act by competitive antagonists at alpha and beta adrenergic receptors. These drugs may act by competitive antagonists at alpha and beta adrenergic receptors. Now let us head to classification of sympatholytic agents. It is classified into four types. First one is alpha adrenoceptor antagonist. Second one is beta adrenoceptor antagonist. And third one is adrenergic neuron blockers. And fourth one is mixed alpha and beta 1 selective adrenoceptor antagonist. So, First of all, let us study in details about the first category of classification that is alpha adrenoceptor antagonist. Alpha adrenoceptor antagonists are the drug that inhibit the action of sympathetic stimulation only at the alpha receptor in our body. They are further classified into five step, five types. First one is Haloalkylamine, second one is imidazoline, third one is ergot alkaloids, fourth one is selective alpha 1 antagonist, and fifth one is selective alpha 2 antagonist. So, the first one, haloalkylamine. The example for haloalkylamines are phenoxybenzamine and dibenamine. The example for imidazolines are Fendolamine and tolazolin. This fendolamine it blocks both alpha 1 and alpha 2 receptors leading to vasodilation and increase in noradrenaline release. The example for ergot alkaloids are ergotamine and ergocrystine. The example for selective alpha 1 antagonists are prazosin and doxazosin. These drugs act by selective blocking of alpha 1 receptors in the peripheral blood vessels leading to vasodilation. Next is the example for selective alpha 2 antagonists are yohimbin and injoramine. These drugs act by selective blocking of alpha 2 receptors. So these are the examples for alpha adrenoceptor antagonist. Now let us study in detail the second category of classification that are beta adrenoceptor antagonist. These are the drug that inhibit the action of sympathetic stimulation only at beta receptor in our body. They could be further classified into three types. The first one is selective beta 1 antagonist, and the example for this type are actinolol, metoprolol, seliprolol, esmolol, acibutalol, etc. The second type is selective beta 2 antagonist, and the example are levobunolol. Butoxamine. Third type is mixed beta blockers, and the example are propranolol and timolol.
and third category of classification was adrenergic neuron blockers the drug that reduce storage or release of norepinephrine are known as adrenergic neuron blockers the examples are guanoxan reserpin guanitidin and bretilian so the adrenergic neuron blockers are the drugs that reduce storage or release of norepinephrine and the examples are guanoxan reserpin guanitidin and bretilian and the fourth category of classification was mixed alpha and beta 1 selective adrenoreceptor antagonist and the examples are labetalol and carvedilol so these are the four types of sympatholytic agents first one is alpha adrenoreceptor antagonist beta adrenoreceptor antagonist and third one is adrenergic neuron blockers and fourth one is mixed alpha and beta 1 selective adrenoreceptor antagonist so these are the four type of sympatholytic agents next is the structure of important anti adrenergic drugs these are the some important drugs example is tolazolin this is the structure of tolazolin this is the structure of trazosin this is the structure of propranolol and this is the structure of metoprolol thank you